The first batch of early oil from the Turkana oil fields and is, is finally in Mombasa as government moves to prove its plan to transport oil by road remains viable. The trucks rolled into Changamu to match funfair, with government saying that this was just the first step in ensuring that Kenya finally stands tall among oil-producing nations. The 600 barrels of oil will now be stored at the Mombasa refinery. According to Cabinet Administrative Secretary, or CIS in the Ministry of Mining and Petroleum, Johnny Musonic, who said that this will be a game changer in Kenya's economic journey. Uh, this is a very, very historic occasion in which, as Kenyans, we must be proud of. Uh, the journey, of course, took about three days uh, to be here. And uh, we have a very, very close monitoring system in which we'll be able to monitor all the way from uh, Lokichar up to here. 600 barrels of oil per day will be transported over the next three months. Thereafter, the number will rise up to about 80,000 per day when the pipeline construction will be complete. At the moment, the refinery is not functional after it stopped operations in 2013. There is, however, hope that a partnership between Kenya Pipeline Corporation and Kenya Petroleum Refinery will see its revival. I think the issue here is the facilities here needs to be upgraded within the latest kind of technology. And again, to reach what we call critical mass, before you can be able to meet all the production costs and so on, you must be able to produce at a higher volume. In that period, we came in on the 1st of June of last year. So 12 months. In that 12 months, we have spent a billion on the, on the operations of KPRL, the, the salaries, pensions, everything else here. We have spent another 200 million improving the facilities to receive early oil. And we are spending another 1.8 billion improving other, fast, far, other facilities here. We are all, which have been idle since the 2013, it allows the government and its partners uh, to be able to store the crude uh, here and therefore also facilitate the, the development of the oil fields uh, due to the requirements of evacuation of oil as they do the developments. Most residents are optimistic that once fully revived, the sector will offer the varied opportunities to make a living. Tobias Chanji, KT News, Mombasa.